Alright everyone, welcome back again to some more King's Quest. You know, this game is a breath of fresh air, pretty much because of its lightheartedness. There's a lot of games I've played that were pretty lighthearted, but this one is a little bit different in the sense that it feels like a Disney movie I'm playing right now. Um, so far we got up to a point where I I wanna say we're still we're still in chapter one, but we made it further in because we got past the the first story, which was uh what's his name? Graham telling his granddaughter about him uh facing off against a dragon and getting the the mystical mirror i don't know what it's actually called i forgot <laughs> and then uh right now it's a uh, he takes it back a bit further into the past prior to the dragon and that's currently where we are right now we're trying to i think uh enter the tournament or something to achieve knighthood i'm not certain but that's where we are and we're going to continue on from there so if anything else guys hope you all continue to enjoy thank you all for the love and support and let's keep it rolling Oh. Oh, they put me. Okay, I know where I was. <laughs> I know where I am now, so I'm trying to say. I, I was a little lost for a second. Alright, so let me talk to this dude. If, if I remember correctly, they wanted me to get to know everyone here. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really? You gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. I'm Graham. What were you hiding in your hand? What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. I'm Graham. Graham Cr No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Acorn, huh? All right, I'll leave you alone for now. I'll leave you be. Go away. Okay, so, Acorn. You know what's funny? Like, in the previous video when I heard Graham speak, I was like, that voice sounds familiar. <laughs> and I looked it up and I was right. It turns out he's the voice actor of Graham is Josh Keaton, who is also the voice actor of uh, Spectacular Spidey. And I was like, yes! Would be lost and I also found I out that his older version, arm, would be his grandfather version, is played by Christopher Lloyd. I didn't have much time. All right, let's hey talk there. to this dude. I'm Graham. Charm! I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... You're... Sir Ten of himself. Oh, that's clever. The jerk who pushed me into the river. Going to have to wait. I'll be right back. Every woman's dream. How about this? Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love. Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe. It's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... You are... Your... I'm gonna go with Sir Ten of himself. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... <laughs> the jerk who pushed me to the river. Alright, let's not go any further than that. I do like that actor, though. He's funny. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. He's called me Greg Garrett. All right, hey, all about my friend. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Yes, I do need... What about Acorn? What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this. 
But I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. All right, so he's got a squirrel. Uh, Sir Ten of himself. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. All right, I still can't believe that's Rex. Right, let me talk to this dude. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. So, where are you from? So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. Ah, uh, want to partner up? Partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. <laughs> uh, what type of arrows so, do you use? So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Uh, Achaka was very... Non-helpful. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? How about Achaka? What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. All right, so Acorn and Certain. All right. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. All right, let's talk back to Acorn. That thing he has in his hand is probably his squirrel. What do you want? I found out what you're hiding. I uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she... Well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel have a name? Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Princess Madeline. I gotta remember that squirrel's name. Veiled itself. It, yes. Have you remembered my name? Well, for someone like you, this name doesn't <laughs> describe you at all. Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go! Whisper can do it! That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Okay, a narcissist, obviously. All right, we well, guy's name is Whisper. What can you tell us about yes, him? Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. 
People that arrogant are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. All right, so let's see if we can talk to him some more. The ivory monster unveiled it. Did you hear the crowds? They all cheer for me. <laughs> they love me. Okay, guess not. Everyone's so energetic. Well, uh, mainly Whisper's energetic. I think I'm ready. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Mm, I want to say Whisper. Whisper. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Oh. Uh... Sir Walter Harris Ignatius. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Ah, uh, Princess Madeline of Avalon. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's hope I got it. Tallying. Tallying. It looks like you got three answers correct. Darn. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. I still didn't pass. I, sh I have to get all perfect. All right, so I think I picked... All right, uh, the fastest one. I know who it is now. Okay, we'll try it again. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. All right. A corner. Achaka. Achaka. Uh... Achaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? I still can't believe that Spider-Man right there, man. That's incredible. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Nice. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So... This position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh, over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theater dum -dum -dum -dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Whisper! Hmm. 
Ooh. Whisper can do it. Alright. Back to full control mode again. I knew that guy gave me a fake uh <laughs> paper. I was hoping you'd convince them otherwise, but that's not the case at all. And well, now we gotta find a hideous eye. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. <laughs> Holy cow. She just sped through. I think I know which I think I know her shop. It might be the blacksmith shop. Uh wait, I think we go down here. Nope, keep out. Actually read it. Caution. Bees and distress. Okay, so go back here. So how did you find an eye? Wait, what is this? It was a hideous beast lurking inside. Or rude. I might need to get something to lure him out. That pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. All right. Honestly, I don't know where I'm going now. Pick, pick, pickety pick. I have to get these old picks before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. Okay, I'll leave you alone. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Is that how? Oh my gosh, what is that? Get out of here! Square! Shoot! Beat it! Ugh, these dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! Keep the door closed. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Oh, so I have to choose between which uh, shop, huh? Okay. Well. Oh, but the blacksmith shop. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. 
I woke up on the floor. My bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Hmm. Oh, look at that weapon. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. Okay. You make up your mind? Where can I find a hideous beast's eye? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. If you give me that weapon. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. How much for the gardening tool then? I want to get it. I- Oh! You know, I just remembered, there was a- I wonder if I can use that weapon on that- that thorny vine area. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Alright, I still have a choice of other stores to look through, but I want to do this one. Bye! Don't forget leg day! Alright, we're getting this. Let's go. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. Yeah, I have, I have coin. Let me buy it. So, you know what you want? How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Trust that gut of yours. Why can't I buy it? Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. Huh. Let me check out the work order. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Alright, I want to get that gardening tool. You will not let me, though. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to give you the coin, aren't I? Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? Yes, I did. I did. The bold costs a fortune. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. Oh, yes. Let's go. I was wondering why I couldn't buy it, and I was like, oh, that's right. It requires me to, uh, wait, do I leave through here? I'm pretty sure I leave Follow your gut and seek. So I didn't finish your thing, but I got the point of your words of farewell. Alright, I'm supposed to leave this closed. <laughs> There you go. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I think I can now use it on this thorny area. If I remember where it is. I think it's here though. Yep, I see it. Uh oh, it's go time. Okay, go. <gasps> Ooh, it's working! And just like that, I lost it. Oh, yay. Oh! Achaka? What? 
Where are you going, man? Alright. Time to do this again. Oh, I can just go. I was a few steps behind, but I was hopeful a beast was in that well, and I wanted an eye to impress everyone. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that he had Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. Interesting. All right, I remember this area. So this takes place before the very beginning of the story that we played through already. This would be his first time meeting the dragon then. I was out of my league down there, but I had something to prove. I just saw a, I just saw a Chaka just like freaking Tarzan swing out of Like he's just making this look easy, huh? Ah. Uh. Uh hey, whatever's down here, it's mine. We're going to try. We're going to try. Get that eye. Oh, what's he doing? Alarma Afamata Afamata Okay Afamata Afamata Okay Afamata Okay Oh And that's what happens to those who do not listen Stalama Afamata Oh, Afamata. okay. I know what he did. Afamata. Okay, and boom. Ah, uh, follow. What a Wata's watch. Okay. I didn't remember any of that. Afamata. Go. Afamata. Go. And. Stalama. Okay. Ah, yep. Right, I remember now. I got it, I got it, I got it. Afamata. 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 Okay. All right, we did it. Water. Okay. And and <laughs> All right. Boom. 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 Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, no, I went to step on that other thing. Alright, let's go for it. Uh, can he... There you go. Ah, uh, no, wait. Yes! Wait, two eyes? Yes, and another surprise. Squee! <laughs> we 
didn't share your excitement. Wow. He tries though, he tries. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here for today. Thank you all for watching. When we come back, we're gonna finish through this uh, little quest of ours and trying to get the dragon's eye. So if anything else, thank you again. Until the next one.